everyone, so today's video is going to be a quick DIY of how to make your own body bath. Um, I'm so sorry that I haven't really uploaded a lot and sorry about the like talking in the background because my brother is too loud and he is on Skype with um, his friend Scarlett. Um, so yes. Um, I just want to show you, by the way, I'm not bragging in shape, any shape or form about all of the stuff I'm using, saying mine's the best homemade or anything like that. And I just want to show you my vanity, because my mum did it. It was a brown vanity, what she got, and we really didn't like it. So she kind of like shabby chic it, tweaked it a little bit. I wouldn't say a little bit, a lot. She painted it a really pretty colour, and I love it. And then she put all gold sparkles over it. So I'm just going to show you, this is a vanity and I love sitting at it. And then my mum done the chair as well in the same colour. And with the old dress, what I didn't wear anymore, and that was like my one of my favourite dresses, she put it as a seat cover. I know it sounds a bit tacky, or a bit, but it actually looks a very, very well, I can't get my words out, very pretty and it is usable so like you can sit on it and there's a really comfortable seat cover. So I just want to show you my fantasy before I quickly like do get into everything else. So yeah. Sorry that it's not good in focus. I had to take the case off and it's on my bed. So now I'm going to show you my fantasy. Oh my god, my brother's getting on my nerves. But yeah, I'm going to show you my fantasy anyway. So this is a really pretty colour. Um, and this is the colour I picked. And um, my mum did gold on the top and like here oh by the way it's not quite finished because all we need to get is now is really pretty handles and i can't decide because there's two i really like um but i can't get both of them so i'm just deciding of what ones i like so yeah in here is just just like paper and pens what i need to write down with stuff and then in here is just one thing my hairbrush because i'm not too sure i'm still thinking what to put in there comment down below if you think i should change this around I really like it though. Um, if you think I should, and you leave me a video response below because I've, I've never had one. This is um, deodorant, just all lovely perfume, really good brand perfume. This perfume I've been loving at the moment. I lost the lid to it, but this was my mum's and she hated it. I don't know how she hated it because I love it. Got this at got this at car boot sale and it's like a little coaster and I love it. Then there's this stand where I got a, a car boot sale too, and it was only a few weeks ago. Um, then there's this little jewellery stand, but all of my jewellery somewhere else, but I think it's cute to have on a dressing table. Deodorant, body butter, deodorant, or body spray, whatever you want to call it. Two body washes, body lotion, and over here is like a hair brace, hair spray, slash, leave-in decan, detang glass, sorry I can't get my words out. Then up here is my mirror. Because I'm filming my iPad, I will get my camera out, but I just don't have enough time. Then here is just like a few things where in the morning when I wake up, I might just want to do. And here is all of my lip balms. I know it's really messy, but I'm tidying it up after this video because I just noticed it. Jewellery, um, face makeup, and in here it's quite cool. Um, it's the same as this, and my mum's got the perfume. Um, so this is um, all of my makeup, and it's quite dark because... I haven't got my light on. This is just natural light, and it's about seven o'clock in the night, evening. So this is just Vaseline, what I need to use sometimes. Makeup brushes. Um. Then here is what I got a cool boots out. It's cute, and and then I just put all my hair stuff in it. So this oh up on the wall is just a necklace, and I don't really want to be on for this for long. Um. This is old my friend's shoes. I need to take them home to wear. Then her. Then my box. I mean, and here's my cover for my bed. Um, sorry, it's a bit messy at the moment. This is the cover what my mum got on here. I think it's gorgeous. I love it and it's so like, you can see it, it's like really nice and I just hope you like that. Now I'll actually get onto the proper video. Way into the real thing um, now. So this is just like this placemat, what I'm just gonna use the laminated sheet and what I'm just gonna put down here so I can get, say if it gets a little messy like down there, I can put everything on there. 
and then in here is just everything I need except from one product is the milk what I need to put in my thing I didn't want to keep it up here because there's only a little left and my mum didn't really know I was using it but yeah so now I'm just going to show you everything in this bag I just brought up from downstairs what I'm going to show you so this um is the um Abitobo's um coconut and light cheese shampoo with yeah, them extracts, um, and this is really nice, so I think that's good, but it dries my hair out a little bit, but you're going to need that. Let's put that there. Or you could have a nice fruity one. I'm probably going to see what one smells the best. The Herbal Senses New Look Beautiful Ends Split End Protection Shampoo with Red Raspberry Extract, and this looks like that. And this is a smaller bottle, but yeah, I might use that either. Or whatever i was going to use the baileys and harding one but what i'm using at the moment which is the limited edition but i think that one's a bit too expensive to start using in like this pumping don't worry about this one because this one's just a bit cheap and stuff so this is the cleans cur cursons i can't say it carex complete protects original hand wash so this is good because it's just original so yeah i'm using that and then what I'm using, this is like one of the swatches from the body shop, what I got um, at the car boot, well it wasn't a car boot sale, it was um, David Weir Centre um, fair and there was cheerleading where my friend was and there was loads of stools so it wasn't a car boot sale but I keep calling it that, I'm not too sure. And then they had a um, stand which was the uh, body shop stall. Um, so yeah, this is what i'm going to use this is just the strawberry sorbet and there's only a few scoops in there so i'm going to use that up and then i'm using this spoon and this is quite good to because it's so deep to measure in and like mixing around um and this is just what it looks like and then here is just another spoon i'm not too sure if i'm going to use this one but yeah it's just a medical spoon so yeah because they're good because they're plastic um, they're cheap to get in the shops so this is what I'm going to be using this um, is like a container what I love this is cute because it's like a silver top and you can add your own labels and stuff so this is what it's like and if you did want to mix it around this is what it looks like so you can dip it into it again. so um, and all you need is just any kind of milk but the one I'm going to be using is skimmed milk oh by the way um, sorry about that I have two of these little cartons, or cartons, whatever you want to call them, but I'm only going to be using one, um, they are cute, and plus I'm only going to fill this up halfway because I'm not too sure if I'm really going to like it at the moment, and plus you can add honey, but I would, if you was going to add honey, I would add this in, or try and find a shampoo which has no, um, no scent it's just a scentless one so the first thing what you're going to do is so i was just making sure everything was right and um, so basically what you're going to want to do is move this up so now you're going to open your container what's got a little so sorry about that and um, some i tried to flip it up because something was on the screen so i tried to flip it up then all of a sudden it just went on there sorry about that dramatic change but yeah you're going to want to open your container which is here and you can see then um you're going to want to pump about three maybe four pumps in as many as you think you'll be needing well i'm not too sure how many pumps i've done now but yeah you're going to want that much so you might want to measure that I'm not too sure. So put everything over here when you finish. So this is what it. Hold on, let's just zoom it in. See, what, that's what it looks like. Okay. Oops. So this is your container, obviously, and then I might add. Mm, I might add a little bit of both. So you're going to want to, but by the way, remember this is your shampoo, so you want to use a lot of it. No, no, you can't have you. So then you're going to want to pour some of this in. This one I don't use at all anymore. I'm going to put 
pretty much all of that in. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to want a. Ah, I can't open it. Out. Oh, I've opened it. This smells so good. This is the best. And I don't think it's out in the shop yet. I'm not too sure if it is. But the lady said when I was at the fair that it wasn't out in the shop until another few weeks. So we got quite a few testers of stuff what's not already out. But, um... Let's try and scoop it off. Oops. Don't worry about the excess because you can clean it off. By the way, don't throw this away if you want to make lip balms and stuff because that would be quite good to use like that. So now I'm going to go and get the milk. So I just ran down to my fridge and got the milk. Um, so this is what it is, this one. So you can use any one, but I think this one's the best one to use. It smells like milk. Then you're going to want to pour... Tiny bit in. About that much. Don't add any of this stuff in just in case um, you're allergic to it. And if you know you're allergic to it, please don't put this in because you might think it might help you. But yeah, oh, I better go and take this back downstairs. Um, if you want that to be enough, you can just keep that in there or you can add a bit more. So this is what it looks like. So what you're going to do is. Do it up quite tight, like so, like so, so it looks really cool, <laughs> so I think like so, then you're going to really want to do it up, you're going to hold it, and then you're going to shake it as hard as you can, so all of this liquid gets mixed together, like so. Side to side, so like this. If you want to add any more stuff, you can. I'm sorry that I didn't really measure it that much, so precise, but I think you should add as much as you think you should. So that's done. It looks like that. It looks quite cool. But yeah, it looks a bit like Chloe Couture's. I'm not too sure if it's Chloe Couture or Chloe culture or i'm not too sure sorry if i'm spelling it wrong pronouncing it what wrong i mean but go and check on hers because hers is a little bit better than mine but um i just it's mine's like a look alike so yeah that, i think that's enough then you're gonna want to open it mm, it smells actually really good so i'm quite happy that when this, by the way, sorry, I'm quite happy that it's good. I keep shaking it. It's a habit now. When all of this is run out, if you like it and if you remember all of these concoctions, this probably won't be able to add that until it comes out in the shop. But yeah, just a spoon, just that, and a bottle. So if you like all of that, maybe you should try it for yourself. You never really know. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And I'll show you what it looks like. Maybe when I put it in the bath. But yeah. Hope you like it. So guys, I really ho do hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry I haven't uploaded it for so long. But I really wanted to share this with you. So I just hope you like it. Bye guys.